started Soul Fire Farm to be able to feed our people. That looked like a doorstep delivery program, um, a CSA share, Community Supported Agriculture, where we're delivering fresh fruits and vegetables from the farm, we're delivering eggs and chicken to our community members so that they are able to have this life-giving food for their families. Over the years, we've grown from a family farm to a nonprofit with a staff. We've grown to become an institute training other black and brown farmers with a big team that's part of an even bigger network. We are um, using regenerative farming practices. We're doing raised beds. We are also doing a form of terracing called uh, Fanyaju, which comes out of Kenya. Um, we're doing polycultures, um, intercropping, and from doing all of these amazing sustainable farming practices, we have seen such an increase in our biodiversity on the land. We are doing solidarity shares now where we are delivering fresh fruits and vegetables to folks in our community free of charge. Uh, the CSA we were doing originally was a sliding scale model so that we could really get this food out to low income folks who might be using EBT SNAP benefits. Um, but now we are at a place in our, our farm's career where we are able to offer this to our community. Community is about realizing our interdependence, that our lives, our survival fundamentally depends on one another. And through growing nutritious food and sharing that with those in our community that we belong to and that we're accountable to is a way of forging that sense of interconnection and interdependence and also helping to strengthen a movement that really supports everyone's access to fresh and healthy food everyone's access to land and also dignity in the food system. We are primarily working with folks who are living in areas that we know as food deserts. Um, the nearest grocery store is over a mile away and you, if you don't have a car, there's no way to get to the grocery store to get fruits and vegetables for your family. Um, at Soul Fire Farm, we use the term food apartheid instead just to really recognize the fact that this is a system that was human made. Um, saying it's a food desert suggests that this is somehow naturally occurring, which is not the case. But also calling it food apartheid and recognizing that it is something that was made by humans um, also gives hope. Like that means that because we made this, there is a chance that we can change it. <laughs>